All right, y'all, I told y'all I'd do another video of uh, the 20 volt cordless air compressive hearts. Let me go over a few things. It comes with a four amp 20 volt battery. As you can see, it's fully charged. Now I had to charge it. All right, this compressor, here is your adjustment on how much air you want out. And I'll show you all that during the video. I like to turn it all the way up. This is how much your outlet is, how much air you got coming out your line. This is how much in the tank. Now, Hart tells you that this thing will air up a flat tire to fully air within a minute. We're going to find out. <clears throat> now, as you can see, it might be hard to tell, but there is zero air in this compressor. This tire here. So my truck takes 35 PSI to air it up. And I don't know if you can see it. Right there. See, it says 35 PSI. Now, my wife's car is 45. My red Dodge over there is 80. So we're going to try with 35. But then I'll test the 45 and the 80. If it doesn't, we'll see what happens anyways. I mean, other it's, it's pretty light. Uh, back here is where the battery goes. It's right here. Now, I don't know why they couldn't do a hybrid. That way, you could put it on a cord or or a battery like they do the radios, or like some radios are, or uh, like Hart's hybrid fan. I mean, it wouldn't take much to to do it I don't think well it shouldn't take much to do it all right this is what I got I got my air gauge to tell me how much my hose which you can see just goes right there I'm gonna let all the air out of my tire and we'll see how this video goes now this might be a little longer than I think if it is, just fast forward through it. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. <clears throat> All right, I took the ballast film out. You can see right here. That way, all the air is out of my tire. As you can see, the tire is flat. You got a little bit of air coming out. All right, so now we're going to put this valve stem back in. There's still a little bit of air in there. I'll make sure I get all of it out. Okay. All right, snug. Now, this this connect connection right here is pretty easy. I mean, you just it pushed in a while ago, yeah. That's all you gotta do. I'm gonna release it, just pull it right here. But just push it in, it's there. You gotta reset here, you're on and off there. Now, I'm gonna get everything set up before I crank this thing up. All right, 
Let me put the camera back down here. Let's see if we can see everything. Now, I think I need to move this a little bit closer so I can show. All right, batteries in, full charge. Turn it on. <laughs> move the compressor away so that it wouldn't be so loud. Even a few seconds, it's still going to take more than a minute to air this tire up. Once the uh, tire aired up, Leave the air compressor fully charged, we'll let it run, you know, build up all the way. Then we're going to test it again. This might be a long video, but I hope you enjoy it anyways. Right now we're at 22 pounds at 2 minutes and 25 seconds. The air compressor is over there still running. You see there's the hose there. It's not going to nothing else but this tire. Three minutes at 25 pounds. At this speed, I don't know if this little portable air compressor or my little portable tire inflator at hard sales would be better. Tear a tire up anyways. I know which one it would be for you know other stuff, but
goes there. Thirty-five pounds, four minutes, forty-five seconds. Well, it definitely ain't a minute. We're gonna let the air up. And I'm gonna let the air out the tire again. It's not fully fully aired up over there. We're going to test it out. All right, you see it's zero and zero. All right, so here we go. We start. I start airing. It's only 16 pounds air in his tire. That's already a minute and six seconds. So that tells me right there that hard talking about air and tire up in a minute. It must be a bicycle tire. Alright y'all, if y'all like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.